Hi, I'm Harry. And I'm Jack. And we are both first year electrical apprentices at British Steel. So we're going to answer a few frequently asked questions tonight for you all uh, about apprenticeships with the company. Um, so we're going to start off with a very common one, which is what would the job actually involve as an apprentice here? Uh, so basically there's three main types of apprentices, there's electrical, mechanical and structural. Each one would specialise in their area of work, um, but on a day-to-day -day basis you do a lot of uh, workshop-based learning, so developing your skills uh, actually on the job, um, so your practical skills, and it's also part of classroom as well. Uh, so when you're in a classroom you're developing your theory, which will then in turn help you uh, on your practical as well. Um, as an electrical we can definitely say more about that. Um, but there's a lot of in-depth stuff with mechanical and structural. Structural do a lot of welding, pipe, pipe fitting, fitting yeah. All um, sort of mechanical, mechanical, it's a lot of filing to start with, um, but you do do lathe work and uh, pillar drills and that kind of stuff as well. Electrical, you do panel work, so you do 24 volt, you do 230 volt as well, uh, and motors and maintenance as well. So there's plenty to do and um, you're never short of anything. Uh, another one which is asked a lot and is on a lot of apprentices' minds, how much will you be paid? Uh, basically, it's based on the workshop rate on site. Um, I know for electrical, it's about you know, 23 grand, but for the first year, it's 27% of your workshop rate. And then in the second year, it jumps up to you know, roughly 60%. Yeah, it builds up each year as you progress through your apprenticeship. So, yeah, it's all based on your base craft at the end. But your full wage after you finished and you get your permanent job will be 26 grand. Yeah. So, and the final one is from me for now, are there any others, how many apprentices are there? Uh, last year, our year, we took in 46 British Steel apprentices and we also took on probably a dozen odd uh, other apprentices from different companies that want to take the same training as us as well. Yeah. Um, so there's plenty of us and this year as well we've got plenty of people applying as well. Yeah. So another question asked is, uh, is it a friendly environment and what are the managers like? From my perspective of this, I really like the managers, I get on with everyone within the training centre, all my instructors, if you need any help, managers are there to help you out. Also in the training centre, the environment is really friendly, everyone gets on together, it's like one great family. We have all these meetings before we actually start within September, so we all get together, see each other, meet each other, and then, yeah, we just go from there basically. Also. Another question that was asked about practical work and classroom, we basically do 50-50. So like Jack said, with us being electrical, we do two and a half days in workshop a week. We do a lot panel wiring, insulation work, motor work, that sort of stuff. And then the other two and a half days we will do our units to get our VRQs and also a bit of portfolio building to build that up as well. Yep. So will I have to go to college is another one. Um, on site our training is provided by North Lindsay um, but we don't have to go to the main North Lindsay site on uh, Kingsway uh, we've got a training site on site here so all training is done on British Steel you don't have to travel to and from the different colleges um, and yes you do have to do college work as part of the apprenticeship um, another one is how long is my lunch and my breaks so Throughout the day, you get two 15-minute paid breaks. That's in the morning and the afternoon. Uh, that'll change depending on which group you are. It's to stagger it. And at lunch, you get half an hour, um, which if you're coming straight from school, might sound a bit uh, shorter than what you're used to, but it's, it's a decent break, and you do get a chance to put your feet up for a while and uh, wind down. Soon get used to it. Yeah, you do. Um, and then another one. What will happen after I finish my apprenticeship? So, on British Steel, I know a lot of apprentices are worried about, with different companies, when you finish your apprenticeship, you don't always get a job at the end of it, but with British Steel, you are guaranteed your job. As long as you complete all the work, you're guaranteed a job at the end of it. Um, so you go through the first year, which is your, your theory, a lot of, and then your second and third years are on site, doing a site visits. Um, work experience. Yeah, really, based in it? specific areas and completing more units that you're given in your second and third years. 
Yep, uh, and then after you do that, you do your base craft, and then you qualify and you get to go work out on site in your chosen uh, environment. So after you finish your apprenticeship, you'll have a level three MBQ in your chosen area, and you'll have a well-paid guaranteed job at the end of it. So another question that people have been asking who's applying at the minute. So one of the questions is when they've applied, where will you be based? Like Jack just said, your first year you'll come to the training centre till from September to the next September and your second and third years you'll do four six month placements based out on site so you'll get experience out on site and the real life of work basically and to those applying people have been asking how do I apply so if you go onto the British Seal website there should be a place on there for you to apply and if you've once you've completed your form and given a CV they should get back to you. The closing date for this is the 16th of March to do this you will get after filling your CV for a start then you're obviously coming for a maths test and if you pass this and fortunate you'll have to go into the assessment day to show them all the skills that you've got and make yourself aware what you can do and what you can't do and they'll look at that and if you're successful that day you'll obviously go into your interviews when I did my interview I thought it was good to bring stuff in with you what you've done from the past show them what you've done build a portfolio up of all your achievements and that sort of stuff so yeah it's good to uh, show them what you've done in the past and it shows you you got a bit of experience behind it yeah, definitely. Uh, but I think with the interview as well, just you don't have to worry if you haven't necessarily got lots of experience because we do have a lot of, of school yeah. leaders come up, so you might not have done lots and lots of work. So you don't have to worry about that. It's more, I think, a lot of it's about the character. Uh, so when you do come along, just be yourself. And yeah. that's pretty much what we're looking for. Right, that's the questions that we've got from here so far. I think you've got another one here. Yeah, so uh, I also, there's this question just come through actually about saying what's your favourite part of working at British Steel. Like, I like doing the hands-on sort of stuff, so I like learning new things every day, problem solving within the electrical bits, all that sort of stuff, like getting the knowledge about it. So like, I've just come from school and as soon as I come here I knew nothing about electrical engineering, but the tutors have taught me throughout this six months and I'm gaining knowledge every single day throughout the working environment. And I also had another question earlier, a similar question, but also it asked what's the worst bit about doing it or your least favourite part. And I said the paperwork because you've got to have good timekeeping. But I said I always get it done as well. So as long as you get it done, you're all right. Mm. My favourite bit of the apprenticeship is probably quite similar, learning the new skills. Um, I mean, I've come from two years at academic college at John Leggett and then I did a year working on lorries. So this is completely different. And they do accept you from all backgrounds and it's that it's a really nice atmosphere i think that's probably one of my favorite yeah. they, it's an understanding atmosphere and they don't treat you as if you should know everything they, they teach you step by step baby steps to start with and my least favorite bit i'd have to agree is the job reports um you've got 10 assessments for electrical and every single one you have to do a substantial report yeah about report it, about it so what you've done that sort of stuff mm. But when you get once you've done the first few, it's very very similar. But it it does eat up a lot of your workshop time if you haven't got a lot of time at home. Um, so good time management is definitely needed for that. Right. So we'll do a few more of these ones. So, what are the people like on site? Uh, we've done quite a few site visits. And a lot of our tutors are ex-British steel workers as well, all worked in similar industries. And they're all, like we just said, very, very supportive, very, very friendly. There is a certain culture on site, which you get used to, um, but it's largely, it's just, it's big kids and their toys. Yeah, that's it, basically. It, it? Scale of engineering, it's mm. huge, it's vast, it's great. Like I said, you get to know stuff every day. It's something you're going to never never see before. You're like blown away by it. Like I was my first visit when I went to Boss Plant. I was like, wow, that's, that's huge. That's immense. Can't believe it. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, it's kind of like, it's, it's a really relaxed environment, but you can tell that everyone's here to do the job and that it does get done properly. When you're outside, the, how everything's done, is it's got to be seen to be believed. Right, so we've got brand new questions in. Right, so we're going to answer some more questions later at 5.45 roughly, so about quarter to six we'll be back on to answer some more questions for you. Um, till then, if you think of any questions, leave them for me and Harry to yeah, answer. Yeah, send them in, we'll answer them. And you. we'll do our best for you. So, till then. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Cheers.